All right, so I'm gonna just show you guys a quick tut for the impact frames. So, you know what I'm saying? Just start where you want the impact frame, whatever I'm gonna use right here. So there's like a few tips and tricks you can use. I'm gonna just show you how, how you generally do it. First, you can add, you have to add uh, noise. Uh, CC radio blare and put it to where like you want like the light sources turn it up a little bit and then add CC threshold and then you get something like this so that's like just the base though but if you want like a colored impact frame you can delete the CC threshold you can use posturize and then put it like two or something you get something like this and you can just play around with it or you can use posturize and um it's like threshold just like to just mess around with the effects like for like the extra like spark thingies you can add um add an adjustment layer add fractal noise transform you can make it like make it like vertically long something like this and then you can uh add um offset <coughs> and add offset and then set the x value to zero and then go to the top and then make a mask in the middle of the solid and then set the mask to subtract and then keyframe offset U, and then go down, like I'm, and then click this little arrow right here, and then it should just automatically be set, and then feather the mask so that, you know, it's not like thing, and then add polar coordinates, um, polar coordinates, so that, you know, and then you put it under the adjustment layer, you can, oh, and put it to, like, a, just put it to, like, a blending mode, like, screen or something, and it gives it, like, the extra sparks, something like that, and then just really just play around with it till you get, like, something you like, you know, it's not... It's not like a set method because each clip looks different, but you know, it's just like this is how like I, I go about making it back for you. So, you know, just wanted to hop on a little tight wave.